Alrighty folks, we got very limited battery. So anyways, I'm gonna be cutting a heart. So what I like to do is take out all these veins. So this is our ticket. Steak, 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 grinds. Pretty easy, pretty easy ticket. And then we have the first best meat cutter, Ezra and Nicholas over here. Which is second best. And we're just gonna bust out this bear. So yeah, we got some uh, back straps here. No, but can anyone go put alcohol in my burner? And Rose's mom was like, you don't want to do that, trust me. <laughs> Definitely not. So she went and got peroxide. Yeah, peroxide, definitely much better. Yeah. So we're just going to record for a few minutes here. Ain't nothing special. Or her grandmother. Sorry. Talk do 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 do. That's all right. I was pulling bone chunks out of one of here. Wait, no, that's yeah. that's the actual bullet. The other one was the ca a casing. Kind of the bullet. Yep. How did the casing be? Okay. They, they shot the whole bullet at the, at the bear, <laughs> not just the... It was like a bazooka. Aren't there casings that go around? Well, or copper something? jackets. Yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> I'm thinking they got a slingshot and they're just winging bullets out to the woods. <laughs> it explodes on impact. Yeah. Well, I want one of those. Right? <laughs> they probably make them. Oh, they do. They never went to the bullets. <laughs> well, they got bullets that go no, inside. A slingshot. They penetrate and then expand. expand. Yeah, and then you got them frangent rounds that just splinter all over the place. Yeah, but they love to get one of them. get hit with a bullet at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of with Nichols on that one. <laughs> I got to get Oh, I want to take a bullet. Yeah. Mm, say I done it. Hey. <laughs> I fucking got shot in the chest with 45 wearing a flak jacket. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that feel? Fucking like shit. <laughs> 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 but no one else was brave enough to do it at the biker party. I thought they were all tough guys. I was like, fuck it, give me that jacket, you fucking pussies. <laughs> My buddy Paul's like, Ezra, settle down. I was like, fuck no, these guys are all supposed to be big, bad bike, fucking biker dudes, you know? I was like, I'll fucking do it. Let's I don't it. consent to his language. <laughs> <laughs> I just think one of those biker dudes watch this and come find Ezra. Oh, they'd be fine with it, trust me. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, <laughs> you know, back when I was the man of steel. <laughs> no man of steel. Flack. <laughs> Flash? Yeah. But not with a French coat. I was Sherman Peabody. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is so random, isn't it? I like Tennessee tuxedo myself. Yeah, I did my Tennessee tuxedo. What are we talking about? Cartoons. Being a hero. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of wondering hey, the same myself. I know a little bit about that. <laughs> a superhero cartoon. This is kind of the nonsense that we do in the meat room. <laughs> it makes the day go much faster. <laughs> no, and this is literally our everyday normal conversations. <laughs> I just found the P32's paint monitor. I know who that is. <laughs> I don't know his name, but I know who it is. I know his name. Marvin Martian. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he in Bugs Bunny a lot? Yeah, he was after Bugs Bunny, and then he had them pills that made the aliens pop out. He had yeah. water and it just yeah, did alien. Water. <laughs> and they look kind of like an alien ostrich. 
Hmm. Those were the good old cartoons. Right. My favorite one's Tom and Jerry. Yeah. I love Tom and Jerry. I do too. I love his like screech every time he gets her. I love when that lady comes after him with a freaking broom and shit. <laughs> My mother used to do that to me. <laughs> See, like I said, your mother was more involved. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Jesus. Mom, I don't know if you watch videos, but you probably don't remember anyway. Please, I still don't say it. Or oh, thank you. Kenny understands, huh? I get it. So. How big was this bear? Two thirty. See, the, the video I watched last night, the guy had the bear, and he said it was in a cooler overnight. But he had the bear sitting on the table, and the, the fat was like... Oh, melty? Melty, yeah. yeah. And I was like, there's no way that sat in the cooler overnight. All right. <laughs> look at this one. It's been out for, what, 20 minutes now? Yeah. And it's still pretty cool. Unless this right. cooler was set to, like, 55. Yeah, then it would be green. Yeah. yeah I was just going to say, it wouldn't be this color. <laughs> Yeah, bear likes to turn green fast. Yeah, the minute it gets too warm, bacteria starts warming and it's over. Yeah. They don't take long. And the people that called this year ahead of time that never shot a bear have listened because we've, we've had good bear this year. Yeah. I yeah, told I them to make really sure seen. to get it on ice, get it cooled off. That's I think we had, we had one that had a little bit of green on it. Yeah, but it wasn't much. No. Yeah. Last nice. year, we, we had two bears, we had to toss out, I think. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because they didn't take care of it in the main process. Right. Just come off of there. Try not to go too fast and come right at your hand and at the I, end of there. Yeah, and I hate making them phone calls. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know, uh, your bear is no good because you didn't take care of it. Yeah. Well, nothing we did. Yep. Yeah, and now you have a hard time accepting that. Oh, absolutely, I'm sure. We do our best here to make sure that these things are taken care of mm -hmm. ASAP. Yeah. And last night when I was watching Dad's premiere, I had to throw in, we have one of the cleanest meat rooms. As in like, clean, but it also looks nice in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a fly-by-night mobile shanty. Exactly. <laughs> that charge is $2,200. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I can't even imagine. I'd feel so guilty about charging somebody that kind of money. Right? The thing is that they probably start, they started doing that and didn't, didn't know. They didn't do any research. They didn't look up what, what the price should be. So they just start charging what they wanted and people are paying it because people are naive. Well, I think what they're doing is that's about what it costs to get a a live cow done and butchered is around $2,200, $2,500. So I think they figured, well, if they're paying $2,500 for a cow, they'll pay $2,500, $2,200 for a moose. Right, yeah. but aren't they buying the cow, too, for that price? Uh, no, no. They have them raise them and then have them slaughtered, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, folks, so we got, we're got we starting on a moose now. We got all the tables cleaned up and everything. Um, 
But this moose, they shot it in a back strap. I found a, yeah. I found a bullet. I found another one. Okay, so he just found another bullet. They, they shot, they That's shot the, the shit out of one. this moose. Hold on, Dad. Show him this. This one's huge. Look at the size of that. That's the third bullet. That's bigger yeah. than my thumbnail. He found one in the front shoulder. He found one in a piece of the back strap. And I found one in the back strap. And there's probably another one. Because there's another hole in this back strap. But anyways, um, due to the fact that they shot it in the back strap, I have to shave a lot. They've lost probably a, a good at least pound and a half of the back strap into the garbage because it was no good. So I just want to tell you that. And right now... I have just got done cutting up this back strap. Now, I also want to say that my, my videos are going to vary. Um, you're going to get some funny footage. You're going to get some conversations. You, we just have fun. Um, we try to do the best work we can. So, What's the point of work if you can't have fun? But if you, uh, if you go out hunting, you know, take care of your animal in the woods. <laughs> take, take care of when you're, you're making that shot. I mean, I understand sometimes you know, stuff happens, the wind change or whatever, and you, you don't hit it where you thought you were gonna. But, you know, shot placement is key, folks, because you lose a lot of your meat. Uh, during deer season, I don't know how much, how many people bring in a deer and they, they blow it to pieces and you lose all of it. And then they're like, why did I get all my meat back? And it's like, well, it's like this right here. You destroyed it. What do you want? So we got half inch cuts here. In the back strap. Nicholas is working on burger. Front shoulder. And Ezra is working on whatever Nicholas is giving him and whatever I throw over there. Super interesting. Super, super interesting. Why don't you let him watch me? They can watch you from there. Oh, I'm gonna flip this now. You gotta give them a tutorial on doing the. Um, well, I already got it half torn off. I can do it on the next one, I guess. <laughs> Basically, all you gotta remove right now is the quad. Yeah, and the flat piece on the back side of the right. scalpel. Yeah, you still got the blade and yep. the calf. Yeah, it's just. A, I try to get different footage for you. I try to do different things, make it interesting. Cause I mean, like honestly, the, until deer season starts and the hunters are coming in the door and telling all their stories and stuff, this is pretty much what it is. It's just us trying to get the moose done. Get the blades now. And I'm sure that the upcoming moose weeks will be more hectic, more, more moose, more people. Right now he's removing the blade. Yep. And this is another back strap to be. You want to try to get as much meat off the bone as you can. And that's less you have to get off when you go back and clean it up. So this other back strap's not as bad, but it does have a a, a bullet wound. And it came with a piece of a little pieces of shards of bullet, so I'm gonna turn you back over. Oh, hold on. That's that don't look too shabby. There's a few more spots I gotta get, but it's not bad. So anyways, what I was saying was Right here, there's the bullet hole. If I flip it over, you can see it went through here. So what I'll do, I know it's about right there. I'm gonna cut that section out. And then I gotta surgically slice that one to make sure I get no bullet shards in it. We got this piece here that I'll do right now. 
So I always take this cap off because this is the grain and that's going that way. And then you can see all the fat that would have been in, left in there. Some people would have left it. Uh, not me. That's going to go over here to Ezra. Thanks. No problem. Right. Oh, That's some good wagyu. Then... See, Kenny? Wagyu. Nice. And then... And then... We got a little piece of leaf or something on it there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so then I'm going to go half-inch cuts again. Just to get this out of the way. That's not a bad shabby little steak. Look at that back strap steak. Yeah. So we'll put that on a tray. And then I'm gonna do thin slice back in here and there. Then I'm gonna do that. This one. So we're gonna cut it off right here. And then get rid of that. Thanks. Well, on this side, you can see the bullet rip right through there. So we're gonna shave it off. So, cut it off right here. You can see that right there. There's, I might be able to save just a little bit of that. <laughs> Clean this off. And then, see, this is, there's a little bit of blood in there, but that's not bad. So I'll leave that. And then I'll cut it half inch steaks. Try to save as much of their meat as possible. Now with this piece, this, there's still some burger that's salvageable on there, so I'll cut that in half like that. And you can see, it's pretty clean. Even though the bullet ripped through there, it's, it's not bad. Let's get rid of that off the side. And now I'm just gonna throw that into my burger because I can't make a steak out of it. And you can see right here, so that's why I did what I did. There's bullet shards and everything else so that's all gonna go right into the trash and now we got this one with a bullet ripped through we're gonna shave the edge off as we well can pick through that and then bullet ripped right through there so i'm gonna yep, there's a bullet shard right there so what I want to do here is I'm not going to try to cut steaks out of that. I'm going to try to cut away the damage. And I can probably cut that off. Now I know there's not going to be any bullet shards in there going to burger. This is the bad piece where the bullet tore through. Now we got this piece. So I'll shave that a little bit of silver skin off. Throw that in a little burger. You gotta say, you wanna feed something through it, you press the beer out. <laughs> yeah, I could. And that will go in a burger. And then we have this piece left, but I gotta clean my bench because there are pieces of leaves and hair. Don't want in there. Okay, got this right here. We're just gonna take off that silver skin. Over, clean up the back. Hey, I'm getting side. good at these. Good. Clean them right up. Uh, that. Slippery slide all over the place. Please <laughs> Just like that, folks. Another bullet. Got another bullet. Four. Another bullet. Another one. That makes four. So that's four bullets we pulled out of this so far. Didn't stand a chance. No, it didn't. Well, the other guy shot at it six times when I hit it twice. Yeah. <laughs> I like to have at least a 30 rack before I shoot my moose. Right. That's all? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably what down in the whiskey? I had two bottles of vodka and a drink of something else that set me over the top. Well, that was before I got in the truck to go. <laughs> they, shot, they shot the moose and then had to go back to the ammo store. Yeah. <laughs> 
you just lay down right here, we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Exhausted a year supply of ammo. <laughs> oh yeah, they uh I didn't even have to cut anything to get the scalpel off. And then that's that. And that's how you that's how you fix the fix a back strap. Is it any good? Yeah, it's not bad. When it gets shot. It wasn't it, right? No. So I would say that I got most of that back strap <laughs> salvaged. Uh. So all right folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Nicholas is just about done over here now. He's he's got all the scalpula. Yeah. He's got all of his meat right here, and then he'll go through that and make turn it into burger. So we'll see ya. All right, folks. Welcome to lunchtime once again. Today we have a beautiful pulled pork sandwich. Oh, uh, that doesn't look so well now that I lifted it. But <laughs> just put that bun back down. It's from Irving's, and it should be tasty. We're gonna have a little bag of Doritos, and I got some high C. So we're gonna eat. Ezra's got himself a bacon cheeseburger. Don't worry about what I got. Nicholas got a hot and spicy. Mm-hmm. Looks like you blew a seal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go eat our lunch. Yeah. See you in a bit. Alrighty, folks. We got very limited battery. So, anyways, I'm gonna be cutting a heart. So, what I like to do is take out all these veins. Because nobody wants to eat a vein. And I usually just shave off the end. But you got all this veinage. Veinage. More more ago. Down through here. This is a regular bucket. Every time you grab that piece, you turn a little more off of it. <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, oh, I guess I missed it a lot. You gotta get that bean out. Uh, somebody want to grab me that slip, please? Off that board. Oh. The fucking wind wouldn't let it go anywhere. <laughs> Alright, so. They want half inch. And then I know it looks like you're like hacking it all up, but trust me, you don't want those veins. That should be golden, okay. And then when I need my bigger knife, I'm going to go half inch. Now, not everybody brings the heart in. Some people do. And moose heart is actually pretty good. You cook it like a ribeye, it comes out tasting really good. A little bit chewy of a consistency, but not too bad. Okay, so that's pretty good. When you get up in here, I like to take. That's all good. All right, that one's all right. If you can see this one, you can see some of the. Well, uh, I think they call them ventricles. I'll well, try to cut those out for the people, because they do not want to eat that. I mean, there's probably somebody out there that does. We like to get rid of it. And that is moose heart. When we get it over here, we put it on a tray. Try to make it nice and neat. I'll do like three on a tray. Just like that. Guess I'll put two on that tray. 
And then the rest, hopefully I can fit. On this one. And that right there is your moose heart. So I wanted to show you that. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. It was a pretty good day. Um, <laughs> these guys are um, having a great day. They went to Irving's and, and met up with the lot wizard that was at the Irving's. Um, but anyways, that was a long story. You were. That's a long story. We won't get into that. But anyways, guys, we had a good day. We got two moose and a bear done today. Kenny's finishing up some uh, sausage, sweet sausage, and yeah, we got trash to take out, we got to get everything clean, but we have nothing left on the board, so um, yeah, we're probably going to have a few days off, so who knows what I'm going to do for some next videos coming up, um, maybe some metal detecting, maybe some wood cutting, I don't know, I got to... Yeah, we'll go chase some lot lizards around at Irving's. But no, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was a pretty good day. We'll see you next time. Keep on naturing. Peace.